when you stand, you want to really like, I want you to feel almost like the bottoms of your feet are pulling energy. I know that sounds abstract. But I want you to feel like the bottoms of your feet are pulling energy from the ground and kind of putting it through your antenna and making this, this kind of sensation. Even if that's not actually what's happening, about pulling energy from the ground, if you think about it that way, you get out of kind of this slightly stuck feeling and create this elongated feeling with this relaxed heaviness to the earth. So I, want, I would say those two ideas, this relaxed heaviness, even in my feet, like, like when, I, when we did this exercise the other day where we just let the guy's arm drop, you want to feel that in the soles of your feet. Like your feet want to be like... like and they, they, like you might not do that because you're kind of holding a little bit of want to in your movement. Like your desire kind of makes this feeling go up. You want to feel this way all the time. That's really, really important. I mean, it seems simple, but it's, it's actually quite difficult to achieve. So my sensei says, earth, man, heaven. That's the alignment you want. Earth, man, heaven. That's the feeling. So when you execute your technique, you're kind of tapping into that feeling of connectedness and not sort of outside that feeling trying to make it happen. Satomi Sensei, my Aikido teacher, he, uh, uh, he's like a, a very, he's like very enigmatic. I mean, I'm not quite sure, he might just be a figment of my imagination for all I know. <laughs> I mean, one night, I think, I think about the guy occasionally during the day, I mean, I, like I, when I'm teaching class, I'll iterate things that he said to me, but I dream about him almost every night. Which is kind of creepy, but I mean, I really, it's, it's weird. It's like, why, I, why do I dream about him all the time? And the dreams are really interesting. Like he and I are going down the road and we're training with people and we're discussing it and we're training with other people. And it kind of got me really wondering, like, there's something going on here, like some funky transmission. Maybe it's a manifestation of my mind or maybe he's doing it or I wasn't quite sure, but I was dreaming about him all the time. And in one of the dreams, he said to me, he said to me, earth, Rick, he said, earth, man, heaven is what he said to me. And, uh, and I, I wrote that down. I was like, that's kind of bizarre, you know, so I wrote it down. And then when I saw him about a month later, I had him out for lunch and I said, Sensei, I, I dream about you a lot. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, the other night you said to me, earth, man, heaven. He says, this is correct. <laughs> and so I gave him a, a sheet of paper. I said, can you explain that to me? Said, so he said, he went right into it, like without a hesitation. He said, animals are kind of vertical, like a, or horizontal rather, like a dog, a cat, whatever. But man is this. He said, man's spine by, by its nature is not straight. There are not, no straight lines in nature. Its curvature accommodates this sort of sponging kind of effect, which makes it yielding in, the, in its verticality. He said, Rick, shock absorbers. The cartilage between your joints. That's what he was referring to, shock absorbers. Then he drew the meridians, like the energy meridians of the body. Like he drew a silhouette of a man, and he drew these little arrows that were kind of coming up through the body, like through the like acupuncture meridians, essentially, and kind of out the, the crown chakra like that. Then the last picture, which I thought was really bizarre, was he drew, and he's quite a good artist, he drew a picture of a guy on a precipice, on a, a cliff, in essentially Yamagame. Like he's not a karate guy, but he drew Hangetsu. And he drew the arrows of the earth kind of converging through this guy's structure and going like that way. And he said, yes, this is, this is the alignment. This is what you want to feel. You want to feel this drawing from your substrate through your antenna to the infinite. And then he just slid it back and went on drinking. Yeah, earth man heaven. <laughs> so I do not... I do not dismiss this as just a random freak of whatever. It, there was something going on. Some, it, it actually prob it caused me to pause and think about what is the nature of transmission? There's a very metaphysical quality to transmission that we participate, almost like a dance. Like it's in my inquiry and my wanting to l learn more that somehow in a dream I engaged him that manifested in a conversation of our reality here that is a feeling. It's an undeniable feeling. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? So, 
open your mind up to the things that are beyond the rational, let's, let's say that, and try to kind of connect with them in the sense of feeling more than anything. When you step, you step. You know, you don't step, you step.